guys? Today we are at Airstream and we are going to do a quick tour comparing the Bambi and the Caravel trailers. And the reason that we're comparing these two trailers today is because they are 16 feet, they are um, small. So people that are traveling solo or couples that are truly minimalists or weekenders, but most importantly, people that are looking for um, a trailer that has a lower tow capacity. So let's start with the Bambi. The Bambi has a gross weight of 3,500 pounds. So let's get into it and see what the entry level trailer has to offer. So stepping in, right away it's very breezy and light colored and it does have cloth interior. It has these um, kind of, I don't know what this is called, but it's the roll up, similar to like a bread basket. You have entry level everything. Entry level sink, entry level blinds. And when I say that, I just mean standard. It's like your standard setup. You get your fridge, your microwave, a two burner stove. You have these flip switch lights, which are in the entire trailer is this style. It's just your on or off. Storage in the kitchen is pretty minimal. I think that the storage is the number one thing that will be challenging for people and that's why I say you either will be alone or really a true minimalist. But it is a great little kitchen to work with. Um, the dinette does convert down into a bed so you can actually sleep four in here. You can sleep two on the main bed and then two here in the kitchen. You have a JVC player here, speakers there, your nice view on this end of the trailer with wraparound windows, blackout curtains, and you have a window here with a screen. You have a fantastic fan up ahead. Also up top you have an air conditioner. And getting into the back of the bed, it's a 48 by 78, which makes it a decent size. And it is pretty comfy back here to get into. You have a emergency exit window with a tiny little screen, so you will get a little bit of a cross breeze, but not a major cross breeze. And then more upper head storage with the roll up style cabinets. And since your bed is always made, this is a really good amount of storage for clothing since you don't have to store bedding up there. It's always here, which is really nice. There is also some storage underneath the bed. And when you're in a small space like this, every little inch of openness counts. You will find something to put under there and you will be glad to have it. You do get a TV in the bedroom, swivels around, and it looks like you get a thermostat here. You have light switches. There are light switches for the kitchen too that I failed to point out up there. So you do get some toggles, which is really nice. Get your reading lamps. And it looks like some USB ports are hiding against that wall. So when you're sleeping, you can plug your phone in, your laptop in, whatever it is that you're charging back here. We have this nice big pantry closet and you have a hanging wardrobe in there. So you can use this space for whatever you want to use it, whether it's hanging clothes or an actual pantry. There's a waste bin down there and there is another light inside. This is a decent sized bathroom. You get a towel rack, you have a vent, light, you do have a clothes hanger, a window. Oh, strap down. nice to get some light in there. Uh, you have a plastic toilet and of course your shower head. You do get a nice fabric shower curtain and toilet paper dispenser. So stepping inside of here, I am 5'7". Plenty of room for me. Um, not too much clearance above 5'7", maybe a couple of inches before you'll have to start to crouch over. And over here, we have your Victron solar charge controller. You have your sea level tank monitor, which gives you actual percentage levels, which is really nice. So it's a little bit more accurate versus the empty full 
meter. And finally here we have the newer water heaters that are tankless, which is really great so that when you are plugged in and you have your water heating up, you don't run out. On this Bambi, they don't have an inverter, which means if you're out boondocking without a plug-in, you will not be able to run any appliances or outlets. Now, the overall feel in this trailer, it is small, but at the same time, it does have a nice open feel to it, given the size. So that is really nice due to the small space, just to have that openness to it. The light color really helps the open wide windows up front, the wraparound windows help a ton. So that's it for the inside. Now we're gonna take it to the exterior and we're gonna let Aaron talk about what's going on outside. All right, on the curb side of this uh, trailer, we do have a manual awning and you will also see these um, solar guards on the front wraparound windows, which is really nice. But it is missing the rock guards, which will be standard on the Caravel. So over here, the battery box is a, a plastic style, um, kind of traditional marine battery box, along with the, the two 20 pound cylinders for propane. And the tongue jack for the front is a manual crank. As Chris mentioned, this one does have the solar package. So there's a nice uh, solar panel up top. And then here we have the tank fresh fill for water. This is your city hookup if you're at a campsite, along with your black tank flush valve and an outside shower on this one. And here was what Chris was talking about. This is new for 2021. This is the tankless instant hot water heater. And so there's no six gallon tank in there. Uh, it just superheats the water and you have an endless supply of hot water. This is the exhaust for the furnace, along with your 30 amp plug and cable TV down below. And one last thing I wanna talk about on the back of this trailer, or a couple things back here actually. Um, you can see that it's the standard windows. She mentioned it doesn't have wraparound windows. Single tail light on the back instead of a dual stack. And then let's look at this outside storage. We're in an Airstream Interstate van, so we don't have any outside storage. And so this is quite a bit of storage. We're a bit jealous of that. So that's about it on the outside of this Bambi. So let's take it back to Chris on the inside of the Caravel. Into the Caravel we go. So the Caravel is the exact same layout, space, and everything that we were just looking at. We're going to point out some differences and what a step up will get you for the price, um, starting with leather seats. Leather as opposed to cloth, which I really, really love. Um, you still have the same convertible bed here, so you can still sleep for adults in here. Up into the storage area, these sliding doors are different than the roll-up style doors that were in the Bambi. You get a nicer sound system in here. You have the JL Audio with surround sound, and there's even a subwoofer down below. You still get the blackout curtains for your wraparound windows in the kitchen area. Dropping down, there is a nice storage drawer. This is actually in the Bambi as well. I just failed to show it when I walked through there. And that is a good amount of storage space considering this is a really small trailer with limited storage. So this is a good size drawer to have. Moving into the kitchen, you have the same refrigerator, you have the same microwave, and you have the same drawers. What's different in here that I really, really love is you get the upgraded stovetop that's more residential style. It looks beautiful. You get this vent hood, which is really important. Cooking, you get a lot of smoke. And then you get the nice residential seek with the farm style basin. Your curtains are an upgraded. These are the Blackout Ocean Airs. Again, you have your upgraded um, cabinet doors. Instead of the rollers, you get the sliders. 
And then moving up to the ceiling, what's really great in here is you get the ducted air conditioner. So you don't have your air conditioner unit hanging here like, like what you saw in the Bambi. So if you are a taller person, you know, that extra couple of inches is really gonna help you so that you're not hunching over to clear it. The biggest benefit with having this style of air conditioner is the noise. A big complaint with the other style that drops down it is really, really noisy. So this, you're gonna hear a lot less noise when it is running and it will be a lot more comfortable. We do have a fantastic fan above us as well as upgraded LED lights that are dimmable with your dimmer switch here. Over at our control center, we have the same C-level tank monitor system and you have the same tankless water heater for your endless supply of hot water as long as you're hooked up to water. This trailer does not come with the solar package that we saw in the Bambi, but that is something that you can add on yourself if you want to add that in. Moving into the bedroom, you have the same size mattress, but what's really great about this Caraval is you get the wraparound windows, which just really makes it feel larger and airy and you get those great, great views. So you get the wraparound, both the front and the rear, and you get these big screens, so you're gonna get much more cross breeze as you're parked and you wanna keep it cool in here. So we have the same TV in here and you get the same storage space, again, with the different slider door. And then you do have an upgraded thermostat and dimmer switch back here, as well as your inverter remote control back here. So there is an inverter on this unit, which is huge so that you can run your appliances and outlets when you're off grid. So that's it for the bedroom. Underneath you still get the same storage space and underneath is where the inverter is kept. The forced air propane furnace is also underneath as well as access to your outdoor storage compartment. So the wardrobe closet is exactly the same. Nothing different from the Bambi here. So a big difference in the bathroom is you get a porcelain toilet as opposed to the plastic toilet. Uh, that is a really nice home comfort feel to have real porcelain. But the rest is very comparable with the window, the window shade, the curtains, the fan, the lights, and the shower head. Medicine cabinet storage. Uh, these really do hold a lot when it comes down to it and you'll be thankful that you have that. As you can see, there are tons of upgrades between the Bambi and the Caraval. And there's certainly a lot on the inside and there are some on the outside as well, which Aaron will point out next. So with all the upgrades that you get on the Caraval, the gross vehicle weight also does go up and that's about 4,300 pounds instead of the 3,500 pounds on the Bambi. So that's something to take into consideration uh, and what kind of tow vehicle you have and how much you can actually tow safely. But down here, uh, one of the first upgrades outside is an aluminum Thule step instead of the standard step. The awning on this one is a Zipti awning, so it's a little bit nicer of an awning. Same solar shields up top on the windows, but you do get the added rock guards up front, which is a pretty big deal when you're towing these things. Moving to the front, one of the big things you'll notice here is an electric tongue jack with light. So that's a nice upgrade for uh, mounting and dismounting your trailer. Behind the propane tanks, there's an upgraded battery box back here. And along with a pre-wire for solar, gives you the ZAMP solar plug. And then also there's the LPG uh, propane port for a fire pit or a gas grill. We didn't mention it on the Bambi, but it also has that same pre-wire and ZAMP solar plug and the propane port up front. So on this side, we have the vent for the Beraldi hood that Chris mentioned. And then also this one has an optional uh, awning package. And so these are the short awnings that kind of cover the windows so that when that sun is blaring from that side, you get a little bit of shade. The rest of the components are all the same as the Bambi over here on the driver's side. You can see the exterior wrap around windows. And then back here, it gets a little bit different. Here's that double stack of LED tail lights, which makes it look a little bit cooler, a little bit more safe. And then same outside storage, but this one also gives you the bumper along with the bumper storage. 
So you can mount a bike rack to this. And then also this gives you some extra storage for those outside items. Tank capacities on this and the Bambi are both the same. It's 23 fresh and they have a combined 30 gallon black and gray. One more difference on the Caravel is it has a different style stabilizer jack and it's a little bit easier to use. The uh, screw nut is out here so it's easier access and they look to be a little bit beefier of a style. Well, that's gonna about wrap it up for our comparison between the 16 foot Bambi and the 16 foot Caravel. They are both 2021s in the, the 16 rear bed models. If you're wondering about prices, the Caravel adds about $12,000 in MSRP on all of those options that we went over. So let us know in the comments down below if you think the upgrades are worth it and we'll see you on the next video. Bye.